This is the special attack weapons tier list, or special attack tier list for Ultimate RuneScape, which includes some shields, not all weapons, of course. Uh, made by Anon again, he's gone and done a good job at giving us a bunch of tier lists. And I'm going to go through today with every special attack possible. We're going to rate it from S to F, the usual tier list ratings. If the chat is in the way up there for the items, that's okay. I'll drag the item out and we'll discuss what it is. So if you're watching, get over it. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else to say. We'll start off with the first item here, which looks like the Abyssal Bludgeon. Now, if I get any information wrong, I will either Google it or just take the L on getting it wrong. But I'm under the impression that the Abyssal Bludgeon special attack... It's only good in the eyes of someone who is shit. Um, because you're pretty much going to be like, oh, it's a good attack because, you know, it, the lower your prayer is, the more damage it does. Except every time you use it, it hits fucking zero. Uh, so the Abyssal Bludgeon is a, a dead F tier, no, E tier spec weapon. Because it does have um, damage, but it just doesn't seem to hit whenever you want it to. So Bludgeon is E tier um, indefinitely. Going to make it so F tier is covered by your face. Yeah, because we don't want to see F tier, it's garbage. Okay, so Bludgeon, E tier. Next we have the Web Weaver Bow. Now the Web Weaver Bow special attack does like some raining arrow shit. Um, the problem is everyone using the Web Weaver Bow is an idiot. Um, and has insane RNG for no reason in the wilderness. The special attack, to the best of my knowledge, is useless. And not worth your time. Because if you can take a AGS... Dragon Claws, Void Waker, I know they're expensive, I get that. Uh, Abyssal Dagger, why would you Why would you use this at all if you can take any of those weapons out to the wilderness? So, Web Weaver Bow is also E tier when it comes to special attack. Unless I'm incorrect on that, but I don't think there's any need to ever use the Web Weaver Bow spec when you have something like the Abyssal Dagger, who was recently buffed um, to do, was it 25% spec, I believe? Per attack, like the abyss, like the dragon dagger. Now it used to be fifty percent. Now it's twenty five percent, and the second attack is guaranteed to hit, provided the first one does. So if you're going to land a hit on the the first hit with the attack, the second one will always hit, which is a nice guarantee. It's not as big of a max hit as the dragon dagger. I believe it loses max hit but increases accuracy. Cool animation, um, an all round an excellent weapon that absolutely fucks people up. This is a this is an A tier spec weapon. The the abyssal dagger. Absolutely beautiful weapon, incredibly accurate. Now we have the Zamorak in Hasta. Um, this is completely fucking useless and is F tier. We don't even need to discuss that. I'm sure we can all agree with that right off the bat. The, um, what's this? The Abyssal Whip. The normal Abyss Abyssal Whip spec. I don't even know what the Abyssal Whip spec does. It, it like drains run energy, um, which is useless when you're doing PVM, which is what you're using it mostly for. And, um... It also, people misclick with it all the time in LMS instead of DDS spec, which I find funny. Uh, F tier spec weapon. Holds in place, I thought. Maybe maybe that's the Abyssal Tentacle. I don't know. Either way, it's completely useless. Next we have the, I believe this is the um, Theramon Scepter upgrade. Which, I don't know what that's called. Theramon Scepter. Um, wait for it. Let me pull it up so I know. A Cursed Scepter. This is it. So the Accursed Scepter... Um, consumes 50% of your spec, costs 1 Revenant Ether, or Ether, and has a, attacks, the special attack hits an enemy with 50% increased max hit and accuracy, and upon successful hit, also drains the target's magic and defense, okay, defense and magic by 15%, regardless of damage inflicted. So, um, essentially a fairly useless item. Um, I can't imagine many places you'd use that. That's pretty E tier as well. I wouldn't even use it in PvP. Um, actually, that's an F tier spec weapon. Um, the, while the weapon is great and good fun to use, the spec is pretty pretty useless. If the target's level is already de-boosted uh, by some amount, uh, it will only drain them up to 15%. Okay, so if you've been... If it's already been drained, it won't go any further than 15% from the base. So that's it. Holy shit, I'm farting. Okay, you're banned. I don't know why people. Why do why do you come to people's stream chats and let people know that you're shitting or farting? You're you're a disgrace. Okay, ancient god sword. It's pretty nice to switch with the shadow. Sorry, hold on. You're saying that this is a pretty nice switch with the shadow. The the accursed scepter. Why would you run this if you have a shadow? Have you used the shadow? You you realize that the shadow. It doesn't, it doesn't miss, right? 
So, the scepter is immediately dog shit on release. Absolutely. Um, the Ancient God Sword, in my opinion, is, I think, my favorite God Sword. Um, I love the spec. I think it's great. The only problem with the spec, it's a blessing and a curse. Right? It's a double-edged sword because you use it um, and then you get healed for 25 health, uh, which also deals 25 damage to the other player after like 5 seconds. But if they run away, then nothing happens. It breaks uh, the spec, which I love doing to people, but I hate when people do it to me. Um, and it doesn't feel as accurate as other God Swords. I know the AGS is pretty lackluster, but I feel like this is really inaccurate with its special attacks for me. But I'm going to put it A tier because I do love the spec nonetheless. What's this hiding at the back here? Okay, we have a spoon. Uh, what's up, Chase? Good morning. What's this? This is a, is this the ancient mace? Ancient mace. Yep, yeah, that's the ancient mace. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of reading, but I'm pretty sure it takes 100% of your special attack and essentially converts that damage to your prayer points. Pretty niche, but pretty useless. It's going to be C tier because you're really just using it if you're trying to get a few extra prayer points in a situation. But let's be honest, those extra prayer points you're getting from the Ancient Mace aren't really mattering. There's not many situations where you're down to one prayer point and you're thankful that you use the Ancient Mace. It's a bit overrated and it's just a copium spec at this point. What's up, Corey? Think Scepter's only spec used it at Zora? You'd use the spec at Zora? I mean, you could, but you don't really need to lower Zora's defense and magic defense or magic level because if you if you lower if you lower the magic level or something, doesn't that make the Tebow worse? Right? So isn't that counterproductive on Zora technically? Uh, Ancient Wyvern Shield. Uh, I'm assuming the special attack of this is the same as the DFS, right? I think Ancient Wyvern Shield. It's the exact same special attack, surely. No, it's not. It's different. Hold on. What's the spec? Oh no, it is the what? Huh? No, it's the same. Does it even have a spec? I can't tell. Use both because Crystal Gang? Fair enough. That's understandable. I can't see anything on here about the special attack. There's discharging. Oh, here. During combat, the engine wipe shield can be operated to ex expend one charge. My bad, sorry. Unleashing a, che a freeze blast um, at a target which can hit approximately 15 damage, slightly less than melee range variants. Okay. Um, this attack can only be used once every two minutes, and each expended charge reduces the shield. Shields, base, range, whatever, who cares. Um, so it's 15 damage, up to 10 squares away. And the damage splat is rolled in accordance to defense. Uh, players can drain all... Who gives a fuck about this? That's terrible. It's so 15 damage? Does it freeze them? It doesn't even freeze them in place. That That's horrendous. I, I, no. Why would you use that? That, that's so underwhelming. That, go, that goes in F tier, guys. Right behind me. That is that is utter dog shit. Oh my god. That is bad. What's up, Trap? How are you, man? Uh, next, we've got the Zarak Crossbow. Something a little more promising. Uh, the Zarak Crossbow is good. Very good. The problem with the Zarak Crossbow spec is that's the only reason the weapon is really used, uh, to be honest with you. But it is a good spec, but it does miss, which means it can't be S tier. We're going to go A tier. What it does is it... Uh, doubles the accuracy and guarantees a proc of the bolts that you're using. So if you have a ruby bolt, you spec, it guarantees, provided that it hits, it guarantees the ruby bolt to proc. And it also buffs it by 10%, the damage or the effect. So the ruby bolt does 110 damage instead of 100 damage. So that's really nice. It's really niche. It's going to go up here in A tier. We'll try to make some space. <coughs> uh, very, very good spec weapon. Arc light. Uh, arc light. Decreases uh, attack defense's strength for everything by 5% or 10% if it's a demon, but it misses and uh, it's, you know, outweighed by the fact that a fang just does damage. So this is a pretty B tier spec weapon, almost useless once you hit the end game sort of error. Arbidil Crossbow, I believe, is 60% spec and it increases the chances of procking a spec, but doesn't actually guarantee it. 
Um, was it, it consumes 50% spec? Okay, but they must have dropped it, I think. Um, it'll double the player's, uh, the player's overall accuracy and double the chance of enchanted bolt effect occurring. So it's not a guaranteed effect. Um, it used to consume 40% of the player's attack. Okay, that's what it was. But now it's 50%, but it used to only just give extra accuracy. So pretty underwhelming, to be honest. Kind of dog shit. Um, not really worth the spec, I'd imagine. In a lot of situations, you'd use any other spec weapon. So this is going to be pretty C tier at the moment. S tier, just for the noise. Yeah, no, that's why it's my tier. That's not yours. Um, Armadale God Sword. It's a classic. Everyone loves the Armadale God Sword. Does big damage. Does big hits. Likes to miss a lot in the wilderness. In LMS, it's not too bad for me. But in the wilderness, this thing has let me down more times than I can count. Uh, it has also, obviously, cleaned people up in the process. Very reliable, but very unreliable at the same time. B tier weapon because it's starting to become outclassed and challenged by things like the Void Waker and the Dragon Claws are more accurate so you kind of don't want to go with the AGS. It's a bit too slow but it is a nice weapon nonetheless. Bandos God Sword is... Um, I'm going to put Bandos God Sword in I think... Banner's God Sword used to be really bad because it was 60% special attack. It was the only God Sword that was 60% special attack. Then they made it 50%, which made sense, made it more consistent, and made it more relevant. And I think because of that, it's made the Banner's God Sword A tier, I think. I don't want to say S tier. Yeah, I think it's S tier. I think the Banner's God Sword is S tier. The reason I think it's S tier is because while it can hit low, it can also hit high. And if it can hit high, it just feels good. I think it's an S tier God Sword because it, it, it's the best. It's the most useful of the God Swords. You could argue the SGS is more useful, but I don't think so. Not anymore. I don't think SGS is as useful as it used to be. I think the Bandus God Sword has become the most useful God Sword. It's cheap to run. Uh, Bendis is pretty easy to farm. It's only 50% spec, and I personally think it is more reliable than the Dragon Warhammer in almost any situation. I just prefer the Dragon Warhammer on the game because I have an attachment to the KC. That's about it. I think Bendis God Sword is an S-tier spec weapon, and I would recommend buying one when you can. Barrel Chest Anchor. This, um, I still don't understand what the Barrel Chest Anchor does, to be honest. Hold on. Barrel Chest Anchor is, if I'm correct... Um, increases the max damage by 10% and drains opponent's combat stats equivalent to 10% of the damage dealt. Defense attack range then mage in that order, I guess. So if you deal 50 damage, it reduces stats by 5. Um, so basically, barrel chest anchor is copium dog shit. E tier. You would use it if you're desperate, but you're just coping with, uh, with the barrel chest anchor at the end of the day. What do we got here? The blisterwood flail. Um, I can't remember ever using the spec on this weapon. Immediate F tier. Dog shit. Absolute dog shit. Bone Dagger. Now, funny thing about the Bone Dagger is it was a completely useless and redundant weapon and spec weapon until TOA came out. And then streamers started using TOA on Zebak at the start. Like, hoo -hoo, Bone Dagger. And everyone thought it was serious and started using the Bone Dagger on everything. Here's a fun fact. The Bone Dagger is shit. And uh, no, it's not good. Anyone recommending Bone Dagger is a moron. It is D tier because it has better uses than things like the Barrel Test Anchor. But anyone using the Bone Dagger is a moron. Fuck you. What is this? A Brine Saber. I have no idea what a Brine Saber is or what a Brine Saber does. I have no clue. Didn't even know it was a spec weapon. The Brine Saber is... Um, it doubles the player's accuracy and increases the player's strength, attack, and defense by 25% of the damage dealt. Special attacks only work... The special attack only works underwater. And consumes 75%... Oh, what the fuck? The special attack only works underwater? And is 75% spec. That is F tier and a half. Only works underwater? What's the point of that? What is the point in that? Dark Bow. Fun meme weapon. Everyone loves uh, watching someone die with a Dark Bow. No one likes using the Dark Bow. To be honest, the Dark Bow... Can you fuck off? Hold on, let me lock this in place so I stop having this problem. Wait for it, hold up. How do I lock this? Where's the, where's the lock button? There. Thank you. Alright. 
Okay, Dark Bow. Um, yeah, no one likes dying to the Dark Bow in uh, PvP, but using the Dark Bow... You use it as a bit of a meme. It's a bit of a fun weapon, but to be honest, until Bounty Hunter came out, this is just the standard Dark Bow. You were using it just to, to, just to piss people off when you kill them with it. Pretty C tier. It's, it's, it's all good fun, but the bow is too slow. The bow is far too slow for it to be worth your time, to be honest. But shit, it feels good when you kill someone with it. Crystal Halberd. Slow weapon. But it is the most damage per spec weapon in the game. Hits big, hits hard. Super accurate as well. I'm a big fan of the Crystal Halberd. I think it is an S tier spec weapon. Everyone should have one. Everyone should grab one. If you're in doubt and the, like, the NPC you're fighting is bigger than one square by one square... Crystal Halberd is a good safe weapon if you don't know what else to bring. Bit late, but the anchor is replaced with the new sword from Jones Foundry. Uh, was AFK, but I heard you on the headset. I don't think the, the sword in the Jones Foundry does any stat reducing stuff. I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is the Dawnbreaker from Theater of Blood. Has one purpose, and that is to fuck shit up. Does a lot of damage, very simple to use. 35% spec, big hits, big XP. Um, only used in one place. B tier. If it was used more in more places, that'd be great, but it's not. So we're going to flip that so it fits nicely. B tier weapon. Never let you down. Din's Bulwark has been buffed in the past. It now has a decent spec that uh, attacks everything in like a 10 by 10 radius and does damage, which is good. So yeah, that's about it. Din's Bulwark is excellent for bursting. What more do you have to say? A tier. Absolute A tier spec weapon uh, on the Din's Bulwark. Big fan of that. Keep mining, thank you, sir. All right, bone crossbow. I've been using the bone crossbow a lot lately on the hardcore. And one thing I have to tell you is that spec is completely useless. D tier along with the bone dagger, absolutely useless. Dragon two-handed song, so, song, so, so, pray shield. Dragon two-handed pray shield is uh, one of the most underutilized, underwhelming, and unfortunate weapons in the game. Let's be honest. No one uses it. No one cares for it. It was cool back in the day until you realized two-handers fucking sucked. And at that point, this weapon died really quick. Um, the spec is garbage. Can't imagine ever using it anywhere, especially when the Din's Bulwark is a mildly, so in incredibly better spec. This is an F-tier weapon, by far. What do you got here? Dragon Axe. I mean, it's a skilling axe. It does plus three to your... It, it's, it's plus three to your wood, wood cutting. It's S-tier. There's nothing better than that for wood cutting. Dragon Battle Axe. Still uh, stands the test of time, this weapon. Absolutely beautiful spec weapon. I think that well, what was uh, what I was told by Fergo was a good strategy on like a mid to low level Iron Man is use the spec to get your strength up and then drink your attack potions. Like save your normal attack potions that you make instead of throwing them away. Use those to get your stats back. That way you don't need to worry about super strength at all when you got the Dragon Battle Axe. It's cool ways to incorporate it. It's better than a super strength potion, I'm pretty sure. With the strength uh, buff. Great for mid-game uh, spec. This is B tier. Absolutely. Dragon Claws. Probably one of the most fun spec weapons in the game. Because you're just fucking people up with claws. How is that not fun? Does a lot of damage. One of the most accurate spec weapons in the game as well, I believe. Um, but sometimes they, they, are, they are really underwhelming. But overall, this is like... You won't have more fun than specking someone out with claws. That's one of the most fun things you can do in this game. Absolutely fucking rip someone open with them. Dragon Axe still only good for one thing, and after done, not really much benefit. It's like C tier. Mm, I think it's still got benefit at 99, right? If you're going to keep wood cutting. I think Dragon Axe is fine at S tier. It's the best uh, wood cutting spec in the game. Alright, you don't need to go get spices. You can just get two levels, and it, it outclasses spices immediately then, right? Inside the wood cutting guild, especially when you have an already invisible plus 7 boost. This makes that a plus 10 boost. I mean, that is amazing. Do you not think? Especially with forestry coming out, it's going to be even better. Then we've got the dragon crossbow. Dragon crossbow, I believe, it just shoots like a dragon fire bolt at you. Dragon crossbow. Alright, dragon crossbow spec. Let's have a look. 60% um, attack drain, which is terrible. Uh, hits up to 9 enemies. In oh, oh, shit. Okay, in a 3x3 three three area. I didn't know that. A player will roll a hit between zero, the usual max hit, and the usual max hit. Yeah, okay. Primary target of Annihilate will have will take 20% extra damage, and all other targets will take 20% less damage. Okay, kind of like a Chinchompa in a way. 
Okay, if the, if you're using single area, the attack will still work. We'll only hit one target with 20% extra damage. Oh, that's not too bad. And it can't trigger enchanted bolts. Okay, well, that is... Um, yeah, that's pretty C tier because it's a 60% spec, which is the most annoying number for specs. Um, and I really can't imagine a place really that you're using that at all, except maybe in like Slayer if you're paying attention. You get nice XP draws to the dragon crossbow. Right, but if you just took a dragon dagger with you, you'd get more damage out, wouldn't you? Most of the time. It's pretty rough. It's pretty bad. In fact, yeah, because of that point, I might make it E tier. Fuck that. That's terrible. Pest control and stuff like that. Right, but... You don't... It's pest control. Right? It's satisfying as sand crabs? You have fucking problems, dude. What do you mean it's satisfying as sand crabs? What are you taking a dragon crossbow to sand crabs for? What the hell are you doing at sand crabs at that point in the game? Jeez. Dragon dagger! The old reliable, the old faithful. Uh, this is a B tier spec weapon. Absolutely. I fucking hate the Dragon Dagger so much. Oh, but TOA in the core. You don't even need it for the core in TOA. Let's be honest, you don't. You're going to get a 3 down in Wardens with or without the Dragon Dagger because 3 downs is the best points for purple chance, right? If you want to go for a 2 down, sure. Go for it. But if you're going to go for a 3 down, you don't need the Dragon Dagger. It is inaccurate as shit everywhere else. The amount of times this has cost me a game in LMS, the amount of times I've gone Barrows and it's just been back to back to back to back zeros is horrendous. Absolutely god awful weapon. But it is low level and you can get poison it and you can get away with some decent damage with it. It does come in clutch from time to time. What's my OG? Dragon Dagger or Abbey Whip? I would say Dragon Dagger. Um, we got the Dragon Halberd here. I'm pretty sure this spec is just like a shitter Crystal Halberd, right? Like, quite literally, it's, just, it's the same as the Crystal Halberd, just a bit worse. Oh, it's got 25% reduced accuracy. Okay, I see. I see, okay. Understandable. So I'm not sure what the max hit is with this. I think you're losing like 20 max hit per hit in total with this weapon. And it's far less accurate than the Crystal Halberd spec. But, if you don't have the Crystal Halberd, you can use it if you go on the top early. Uh, let's make it D tier. Absolutely. Does it use my spec? But no, it's the same. It's 30% spec. Which is nice. 30% spec is good. Dragon Harpoon. This includes, like, obviously, like, with the axe and the pickaxe, this includes crystal and infernal all in one because it's the same spec. Um, excellent. Absolutely excellent. I don't really know how many people go to the fishing guild, so you won't, the, the seven, plus seven boost isn't really as useful, but in Temporos, why not? Get those extra fish as soon as you can. You can use it even if you're not harpoon fishing. That's the best part. <clears throat> if you're going to go and do barb fishing, if you're going to go do um, angler fishing, if you're going to go do... Um, the Zora scale fishing, you can still use the Dragon Harpoon spec and benefit from that without having to use the Harpoon, which I think is S tier. Fan of AFK Sharks at the Fishing Guild? Well, then you're a lone fan in that field, my friend. Dragon Hustar uh, is the same as the Zami Hustar, right? Oh, no, it's not. What the hell? Dragon Hustar... Oh, yeah, I remember this bad boy. Okay. Um, it drains the special tap bar uh, and attacks with a 5% boost in accuracy and 2.5% boost in damage for every 5% used. It ignores 40% damage reduction from protect from melee. Really? So if, it, if a player is playing protect melee, it ignores that completely. That's awesome. And therefore, if you use your entire spec bar, it's 100% increased accuracy and 50% damage boost. I remember this on the gym now, back in the day. That was badass. Yeah, that's, uh... It, I mean, you wouldn't really use it because it's outclassed pretty pretty quickly. And then you'll use your whole spec bar in one hit, which is also kind of cringe. But uh, the idea behind it is fucking lit. I like the idea behind it. Uh, we're going to make it B, B tier just because that's really cool. That's about it. Uh, then we got the Dragon Knives. Dragon Knives, this might be a little controversial, but I think the Dragon Knife spec is pretty useless um, because I think the best part about dragon knives is in, for the PvP element is the attack speed right to then switch and use a different spec rather than the dragon knife spec because it's 25% special attack and it's two knives at once which I'm sure is great but I think it's more beneficial to just switch an AGS spec someone real quick as for PVM I'm pretty sure the is it the knives or the axe that's used in Zora I can't remember I think that's where the spec really shines, but for the most part, I think they're C tier. Like, you wouldn't really throw them for specking. It's kind of a waste, in my opinion. 
the, the, no, the, the knives are great for PvP combos. I don't think the specs worth for PvP combos, in my opinion. Dragon Longsword, it's a classic. Back in the day, Dragon Longsword was the shit. That was the weapon you wanted, that was the spec to use on things. Unfortunately, it's utter dog shit. Uh, it's increased accuracy and damage by 25%, that's about it. Pretty C tier spec weapon. For its time, it was it was S tier. Gmall, knives to Gmall is S tier. Yes, but that's the Gmall spec, not the knife spec. You, you, you understand? This is a specialist hat tier list, not a weapon tier list. Know what I'm saying? Dragon Mace is 50% damage increase, I believe, at 25% spec um, for 25% increased accuracy and 50% increased damage. In other words, guys, you hit the Dragon Mace spec, everybody dies. A tier, B tier, S tier, dude. This spec is amazing. I love it. Oh, it's not the best spec in the game? I know that. I know that. Don't get me wrong. I know that there's better specs. That doesn't mean it's not S tier. This thing is fucking beautiful. And at level 60 attack, you do Hero's Quest, you run around, you donk kids with this, and they go to sleep. It is awesome. Dragon Pickaxe, which includes Crystal and Infernal Pickaxe, um, it goes with the other ones. It's, it's S tier. It's the best in the game. It allows me to mine Amethyst right now, even though it's Crystal, uh, while I'm at 91 mining, and I can AFK Amethyst with the Light Bearer, I don't need to worry about it, ever. I'm in the mining guild, I'm having a good time. AFK, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Please don't wink at me in the chat, we're not friends. Dragon Skimmy. Now, this isn't really useful inside PVM. I'm pretty sure it increases accuracy, that's about it. I don't know how to spell Scimitar. That's it, yeah. Does it increase accuracy? It's 25% higher accuracy against the target slash defense. But in PvP, in PvP, in LMS, Pures, this is the secret weapon. You spec someone with this, they go to sleep, okay? Because you hit them with this, you hit them with the crossbow, or you hit them with the DDS spec straight after, they shit their pants, they don't know what to do. Otherwise, yeah, it's pretty uh, garbage. That's C tier for sure. Next we have the, this is the Dragon Spear, which is essentially the Zami Hasta. Which is um, your RD Knight setup, which is why it's F tier. Fuck that weapon. Dragon Sword. <coughs> I didn't know this had a spec. The hell's the Dragon Sword spec? Dragon Sword consumes 40% of the player's special attack energy to hit the target with 25% increased accuracy and damage. So it's like a. Oh, 70 mining, guys. I'll take a GZ, thank you. Um, if the target is using melee, the special attack would ignore the prior in one attack. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's. Like a dragon longsword spec that costs 15% more, but ignores protect from melee. So, I, that's pretty D tier to me because well, I, what, you wouldn't really use it in uh, the wilderness anyway to begin with, I don't think. And um, it costs more than the dragon longsword spec. Why the hell would you use it? Absolutely not. No, thank you. All right. Dragon Battle Axe. Now, this, I believe, is special to... Oh, sorry. Dragon Throne Axe. Is one word, I'm assuming. Yeah. Dragon Throne Axe is more unique to um, Zora, I'm pretty sure. It's, it's either this or the knives. I can't remember. It might be the knives. Uh, what does this do? It consumes 25% of the attack and improves the player's accuracy by 25%, long with guaranteeing that the player will attack on the next tick, which is basically uh, g -mall, right? It's like a ranged g -mall, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It could be used several times in quick succession with improved accuracy, unlike... However, unlike the G-Mall special attack, it would not be possible to use all the specs uh, attacks at once in the same tick. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So, um, it's basically a ranged G-Mall, which is what it's used in Zora. Outside of that, um, absolutely useless, which is why they're cheap and dead on release, because they're garbage. Only for speedrunning, and speedrunning, as we know, is gay. Uh, so they go D tier immediately, actually. Fuck that. Alright, Dragon Warhammer. Everyone's favourite Lego brick that um, is mandatory, basically. You can't go on a mass Tob, TOA, Cox, well, TOA you can, but people won't take you to Co Cox or Tob as a learner unless you have a Dragon Warhammer. Because the Dragon Warhammer is essential not to get into the raid. The Dragon Warhammer isn't essential for the raid and the mechanics. The Dragon Warhammer is essential to be accepted by those around you that don't give a shit about you. Those around you, your peers, that don't actually care about teaching you your well-being and investing time into helping you learn. They just want a Dragon Warhammer for the sake of copium to keep gatekeeping content. Because we all know that if no Warhammer's hidden on, you're still getting that kill deathless. It's all about skill. It's not about luck. 
This thing misses more than I can count. I am disappointed with the Dragon Ball Hammer. But when it hits, it's notable and it is really good. So it's going B tier. It's a B tier spec weapon. I would always prefer to take the BGS over the Warhammer. I just like to take the Warhammer on the game because I am attached to the KC that I got it with. I'm liking the, the, the single hand um, weapon option. But if I had a Shadow, I would take the BGS because I'd feel less inclined to take it at that point. Next, the Dragonfire Shield. Um, this is only good in one instance. The only instance this is good in is if you have an account that has one attack, one defense, one mage, one ranged, 75 defense, and whatever HP, like 40 HP. And you go to a PvP world, and you fight someone in full Darok, full Torag, you throw this on, and then when they're low, you fucking butts them with the shield, and they go to Lumbridge. Otherwise, absolutely horseshit spec, um, E tier. The reason it's not F is because doing that to people is funny, otherwise, yeah. And I'm assuming this is the same but worse, right? What's this? Uh, what's this called? A skeletal? Uh, what's what's this called? Dragonfire Ward. Dragonfire Ward. The hell does the Dragonfire Ward spec do? Must be the same, right? In combat, the Dragonfire Ward can expand one charge. Yet yeah, whatever, um, it can hit up to twenty-five damage. The attack can only be used once every two minutes. So it's the same as the the Ancient Wyvern one. And it's less, attack, less effective against people who've got the shield or a potion. Dragonfire attack will not work against dragons, of course. We know this. Metal dragons below Mithril are vulnerable to it. Okay. So this is just as useless as the Ancient Wyvern shield, uh, which is, you know, expected. These shields are garbage. They're dead, on con uh, they're dead on release. They're dead content now. There's not really much point in owning them. Just put them to your heart and iron. GZ, mate. That's fucking awesome. Alright, we've got the Eldritch Nightmare Staff here. Love the Eldritch Nightmare Staff. It's essentially what saves a lot of people in the Inferno. It's like a Sarah Godsword, but ranged and overheals you, over, overstores your prayer, which is awesome. Almost no quants of it. It's got 55% spectrum, which is annoying, but the Light Bearer makes it less tedious. This is an A tier special attack. Granite Maul. Now, hold on a second. This is Granite Maul. There's no difference here with the Ornate Handles. Okay, so basically, Granite Maul, you need to have the Ornate Handle from LMS to make it worth it because then it's 50% uh, spec, otherwise it's 60% spec. Uh, Granite Maul is good fun because I love blasting people off the map with it, but it is so inaccurate, it's not even funny. This is a B tier spec weapon. If it was more accurate, that'd be great. It's not ST PvP weapon. It's not. Have you tried PvPing with it? Because all you do is miss. You just can't, you, no. The, the only time you're killing someone with a Granite Maul is if they're wearing Void. If they're not a Void PKer, good fucking luck. It's not happening, man. Absolutely not. It is not S tier. It, it, it's fun, but it's not fucking S tier. What the hell is this? Is this a Rock Hammer? Why does this have a special attack? Consumes 60% of the player's special attack and deals an attack with 50% increased accuracy while guaranteeing 5 additional damage to the attack. So even if the special attack misses, the target will still take a minimum of 5 damage. So this is guaranteed 5 damage. It, this excludes NPCs that... Yeah, okay. So this is guaranteed 5 damage with increased accuracy. That's kind of garbage. But that's going to that's gonna go in the, in the, in the e-pile for sure. That's kind of shit. Who cares about that? It's only 5 damage, right? Who gives a shit about that? Alright, next we've got the Red Keras from the Turns of a Mascot Raid. Red Keras is pretty good. It's only good in bigger teams. The bigger the team, the more useful it is. If you're in a small team, you wouldn't really take it. It basically stops you attacking for, I think, 8 game ticks and makes the target, if you hit, more vulnerable to damage. Uh, it takes increased damage from, from sources for 10 game ticks. So you get one attack in after. Um, it's... Also got increased accuracy, I believe, and it's a 75% spec, I believe. It's pretty it's pretty B tier. Like, in bigger raids, you'd probably use it. Otherwise, you wouldn't use it in, like, teams less than four. Four or lower, it's not really worth it, I don't believe. So, But it's pretty nice to see it used on, like, the Wardens and then the ZCBs hit 125s. It's pretty nice. This is good if you're PKing Gargoyles. What, the Granite Hammer? Can you use it as a smasher at the same time? Holy fuck, you're unentertaining. Well, you had to subscribe to get here, so appreciate it. Uh, granite sword. What's the granite sword? Let's have a look. 
No, this- what the fuck is this? Oh, that's the Excalibur! Oh, yeah, no, fuck the Excalibur. That's garbage. Put that shit in F tier immediately. Heavy Ballista, the spec from the Heavy Ballista sucks because it slows you down. Uh, you can clean people up with it, but I don't recommend it. I recommend it anything else over the he uh, Heavy Ballista spec. That is D tier. Yellow Keras, we know the Yellow Keras, we love the Yellow Keras, it's broken, it's beautiful. There's zero qualms with the Yellow Keras, you can take it with it. It'll keep you alive, it'll save you in many situations. So Yellow Keras is always an S tier spec weapon. Magic Longbow, I believe guarantees a hit. Magic underscore Longbow. Magic Longbow is a guaranteed hit on the target, 35% spec. Um, and that's pretty much it. This used to be the meta back in the day with Callisto. When you, what you do is you take full Varax to Callisto, you donk Callisto until she was low, and then you'd hit uh, the Magic Longbow at the end to finish off the kill and guarantee the hit. Otherwise, um, this is pretty much never used anymore. Um, and it's a longbow, so it's really slow. So that's going in the D tier pile. And I believe Magic Shortbow isn't too different. Uh, short bow. What have we got here? Short bow, we have 55% uh, special attack. Um, and it does two hits. It's, like, it's actually like this an action. Why is it giving me fucking algebra? I don't care about that shit. While the in-game tooltip says the snapshot has reduced accuracy, it's likely it has an accuracy boost of 10 over 7. 43% accuracy boost. That doesn't help me at all. It just shoots two arrows. Um, that's, yeah, just as useless as the other one. In fact, that's probably... That just makes me want to put this C tier and this one D tier. That's kind of garbage, to be honest. Good for PvP pure? Y yes. Okay. 50 with imbue? Uh, it's still garbage, in my opinion. Love your jewelry tier list. I'm a new guy, so it helped a bunch. Hey, good stuff, Montana. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Morgan's Javelins. Is that how you spell Javelin? I don't know. I know what... Uh, this does a... Um, it, it does a tick damage. It does a... Uh, sorry, a dot. Damage over time effect. Which I believe is like poison. But it's not poison. But it acts like poison. Um, and I want to go to old school runescape, please. The special attack. Um, 50%... And the wielders uh, of the wielder special attack um, has no effect against NPCs, so it's really only useful in Bounty Hunter and in LMS, which automatically like drops into a D tier because Bounty Hunter sucks, and I mean, not many people do LMS, right? I love LMS, so it applied damage over time. Every three game cycles, your opponent takes five damage until the same damage dealt by the initial blow has been delivered. Okay, so if you hit a thirty, it'll do an extra thirty over three six. And that's kind of garbage, yeah. That's pretty shit. And then we've got a granite axe. What the hell is this? No, this is a throne axe. Morrigan's throne axe, I think. I believe this is a new one. New weapon that I've not seen before. Morrigan's throne axe, that's it. Okay, what's the special attack of this? Let's have a look. It's called hamstring. It contains 50% of the player's attack, uh, special attack, and it deals between 20 and 120% of the user's max hit. Okay. Against players, it also increases the rate of which the target's run energy is drained by sixfold. Okay, so you, you run out of chat six times, uh, sorry, chat. It says the word chat box here. You, you run out of run energy six times faster, and it does a lot of damage. I can't imagine, well, it's PvP related again only, so it's automatically D tier, because I don't think it, it has to have a use in PvM and PvP for it to really shine. Let me make sure I haven't contradicted myself there. I probably have, I don't care. Um, and I'm sure it's great fun, but to me, that doesn't say it, it, it guarantees a hit as well. I don't know. I'm not too sure. What is the max hit? What's 120% 120 of max hit? I don't know. Anything when you hit 60k subs? Oh, I haven't thought about it, dude. I don't think about that. I oh, know, not yet. Dragon Claws. Sorry, Rune Claws. It's worse. Now, if I'm if I'm correct, which I normally am, they're shit. 25% uh, of your special attack and deal 10% increased damage. Um... Right, well, I can't think of a, a bigger waste of my fucking time than Rune Claws. That's going in the bin. I saw one club, uh, I saw one club of a, a guy in Bounty Hunter using it for shits and gigs, and it did allow him to catch up and kill the player, but very niche. Okay, for the Throne Axe, I see, yeah, of course, yes. Now you got the uh, Osmonton's Fang. This allows you to hit your true max hit, which goes beyond the 85% threshold of the standard uh, attack. And it doubles the accuracy of the weapon. 
I find that fucking hard to believe because all this weapon does is miss when I spec with it. I am offended when the fang misses when I spec with it, which happens a lot outside of tier way especially. This is a B tier spec. I don't think it's good enough. I, I think... Maybe it's A tier because it is 25%. Yeah, because it's 25% it's A tier. Otherwise, I, I, I am so disappointed with the damage that comes out of that weapon half the time. Absolutely. Hit more zeros when specking. I know, same, right? It's it's ridiculous. Uh, now we've got the Rune Throne Axe. This has one purpose, which is to go to Dagonoff Kings. Now, you use it in Dagonoff Kings for the combat achievements as well. But the reason the Dagonoff King achievements are so difficult to do and shit is because this is so garbage. So, uh, this weapon sucks. It's going in E tier because it has one use, which almost feels mandatory. And that's it. Hold on. Alright, that's better. Next, we have the... Mute that immediately. Thank you. Next, we have the Sarah Godsword. This used to be my favorite Godsword. I think the Bandos Godsword is now that it's dropped down to 50%. Sarah Godsword is amazing. This used to be my go-to weapon when it came to demonic gorillas as well. I would sit there and use this and then use the blowpipe as the ranged weapon. It saves a lot of lives. It's really good for Slayer. Uh, it's really good in the Inferno. I think this is just as S tier as, as Bandos, to be honest. It's, uh, the special attack is, is amazing. And the best part is, it's guaranteed a minimum of 10 health and 5 prayer if you hit below 10. Even if you hit a 0 on something that you can't hit, use it on vampires. Anything that you can't damage it with, it'll still go through as long as it rolls a, a hit. Which is the best. You need to re-explain all weapons for me because I just joined and outright refused to watch the video posted in the stream. Much love. No, I don't, Jeff. Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking coward. Alright. Sarah Sword. This spec... The spec is garbage, okay? It's a shit spec, because it uses 100%. But it is fun, and it's good. And there was one point recently where it would one-hit people in the wilderness uh, due to a bug, and therefore this is an A-tier spec. It is awesome. It's shit, but it's awesome. And the fang is still bugged. My theory is the spec doubles its attack bonus without applying the passive. You're probably wrong, but it's not a bad theory. Uh, what do we got here? Seer Cole. Seer... Cole. The obvious sarcasm was not realized. I, to me, it wasn't obvious, but um, again, maybe you just took my, my comment more seriously than you should have. I don't know. Uh, so the Seer Cole consumes 100% of the player's special attack energy. It is guaranteed to hit and lowers the opponent's magic level equal to the damage dealt. So where would you use this? Where would you use the Seer Cole? Because I feel like I've, I've seen in the past someone use it. I, th I think Nate was using it somewhere. Lower the target's magic level. Because otherwise it's crap. It's a guaranteed hit. Is that a fake Tebow? What? No, it's got nothing to do with Tebow. It's a guaranteed hit. I, 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 can't, I can't remember where you might use it, but it's, it's, it's kind of crap, to be honest. It's going E tier, unless someone can come up with a decent argument otherwise. For sure. Staff of the Dead, I'm pretty sure, uh, just makes you... Strong. The dead. Uh, stuff of the dead should make you uh, immune to damage or some shit, right? Because it's 100% of your spec. Um, lasts for one minute. It's inactive while the staff is unequipped due to uh, during the minute. Okay. Until the staff is equipped again, of course. So if you put it back on, it's good. And uh, in addition, it affects stacks of PvP damage reduction, effect of protect from melee. But what does it do? It halves the opponent's melee damage. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I can't really see a use for that ever. Like a justifiable use. You might use it in a niche situation, but niche is not an excuse for something being validated, right? You can't validate the, the, the legitimacy of an item or a special attack because of a niche use. Fuck that. Stasis Warhammer is, in my opinion, crap. Uh, the special attack is basically a Dragon Warhammer with increased accuracy. 25% increased accuracy, and it takes less spec. It's only 35% spec. That spec is amazing, provided you can use it in the game. It's like a better Dragon Warhammer. But you can't, because you can only use an LMS and Bounty Hunter. And what it does is it reduces defense, right? But then you just drink a Sarah Brew, and the spec is completely nullified. Therefore, this is an E-tier weapon until it comes to the main game. Until we get it, or something like that, in MP uh, that we can use in NPCs, it's completely useless. Kraken boss hard... Is Kraken Boss hard? No, you're, you're good, man. 
You still take a lot of damage. Uh, try wearing magic defense more than magic attack gear. Uh, dragon blowpipe. Dragon blowpipe. Toxic blowpipe. Dragon darts or any darts. doesn't matter. Um, the spec is actually better now. They've increased the accuracy of the spec because uh, they had to nerf the blowpipe. It heals you for half the damage that you dealt. And 50% spec. It's not really too much. What do you mean A because of nerf? They buffed the spec when they nerfed the blowpipe. The, the spec the spec got better than the blowpipe used to be when it was when they nerfed it so the, the, the blowpipe was like a nine out of ten and the spec was a six out of ten then they brought dropped the blowpipe to like a seven out of ten but put the spec to ten out of ten so they, they increased the accuracy right quite a bit I, I, if I recall as well um, but that's about it really that's it's pretty AT spec to be honest you haven't noticed it to be honest well I didn't ask. Uh, a tier. The, uh, what's this? The, the Callisto Chain Mace. This spec is an interesting one. This, was, this is one people don't seem to get right. Because most of the people that use this spec are people who are PBMing. They're not trying to PK. But they will try and have a go at anti-PKing. And they panic. They don't know what they're doing. They're not paying attention. They'll throw the spec. They'll miss and run and think that they've actually landed the spec. This the spec is great when it hits because it, it inflicts bleed damage and also turns your run off and you can't turn your ram, run back on for like 5 seconds. So it's really good for getting away from players provided you know what you're doing with it. Make sure if you land the spec, you use it and you get away. This is an A tier spec. It's, it's honestly really good. Save it for players. Does a lot of damage. What's the name of, what's the name of gear last time I used a lot of pro pods? Just use like carols. Carols will be fine. Volatile Nightmare Stuff. This is shit. 55% spec, and um, it always misses. I just can't... I can't seem to hit with it. D tier. Every time I use it, it misses. I don't care what you say. It's crap. It's like People are like, it's an AGS. No, it's not. Okay? It's crap. It's 55% spec for a fat fucking zero. I don't need it. What is this? Toxic Star for the Dead? Is that what that is? What the fuck is that, chat? What is this? A granite spear? That's not Toxic Star for the Dead, is it? Statue Spear. Didn't even know what that was. Vestus Spear. That's it. Statue, you dickhead. Vestus Spear. What does this do? Whoa. Check out the fucking spec, dude. Like Darth Maul from fucking Star Wars. Check that out. Oh, that's amazing. What does it do? It consists 50% and performs an initial hit, deals up to 100% of the player's max hit. After two ticks, the second hit has landed 25 and 75% of the damage inflicted in the first hit. In addition, the user becomes immune to melee attacks for eight ticks. Okay, that's this S tier with the animation alone. That's fucking amazing. Are you kidding? Why would you not use that? that, that that's some gangster shit, dude. That's fucking amazing. SF, yeah, the emote's fucking incredible. Just sits there fucking flinging it around. You can't, I don't think you can buy one. I think it's uh, Bounty Hunter points. It's only usable on Bounty Hunter. That is amazing. I love that. Fuck yeah. Uh, VLS. Excuse me. You wait. Do uh, you guys know where these two are going? VLS is... Uh, VLS is... Uh, VLS is... Uh, VLS is A tier. I know because... No, VLS has to be D tier, doesn't it? I, c I can't put it A tier purely because you can't use it outside of Bounty Hunter and LMS, but fuck, it's good. But it could be C tier, maybe. The spec is amazing, but it's just like you. The only downside to this is like protect melee kind of makes it you know less inviting people just can't protect melee but that's fine because you just range them um and it's 25 percent spec i think it's beautiful fuck it it's a tier i don't care it's my tier let's do what i want and void waker is s tier we know this void waker it doesn't miss it does a lot of damage it's one of the best spec weapons in the game it's a great investment and especially in pvp you keep people guessing 
you will uh, mince them and send them back to Lumbridge in a body bag. It's awesome. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was well, quicker than normal. Probably still took a bit of time for those watching, complaining on YouTube, and your tier list takes too long. I don't care. This is my special attack tier list. So with F tier being, don't use it, don't buy it, don't waste your time. These are garbage and would love a rework on them to make them more relevant to the game. E tier, pretty much the same thing. Either bring a buff or rework it completely. D tier is used by people who do nothing but cope. This is all copium tier. D is for people who just are wasting their time specking for no reason. Just because you have it. It's the only one you've got on you. C tier. Um, pretty much the same as D tier at this point. It's, you're only using it because you've got it and you've got nothing else on you. Otherwise, you wouldn't waste your time. You'd replace it with something above it instantly. B tier specs are good, good specs. They miss. Uh, they are situational and quite unreliable some of the time. But when they hit, they do a good job. And they do what you want them to do when they do hit, of course. But otherwise, they're either situational or they just miss and you get disappointed and wonder why you fucking buy them. AT spec weapons are more disappointing when they miss. Don't miss as often, um, usually. And provide a lot more value when they do hit. They're a lot more satisfying and more fun to use when they hit. And then S tier, of course, is where you want to spend your spec most of the time. If you've got something in S tier... You've got whatever you need to do any content in the game, no matter where you are, or who you are, or whatever level you are. That is the special attack tier list. I'm now going to play the Hard Cry Man and try not to die getting my Barrow's Gloves. Do you even know Dragonfire Ward had a spec? Yep, well, continue not knowing, because it's a spec no one cares about. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. you got a big boy. Look at him, god damn! Fuck, mate, look at that boy. It's huge! 